Hello, this is Catherine from Accelerated Reader, reading books for you. Today, I will be reading chapter nine from Danny and the Portal of the World, The Adventures of Danny Hoppenbiller, book one, written and illustrated by David T. Lee. Before I begin reading, I would like to give a big thanks to the author for sending me this book to read on my channel. In the description below, I've included links where you may find and purchase this book. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Chapter 9 A Trip to New York A week after the amusement adventure, it was Father's Day Eve. We are going to New York to buy a gift and send it to England for Father's Day, said Grandpa Garp. It was very sunny indeed and the airport was still full of 20 flights to New York by the time they drove to the airport. The ones that were coming to New York were Danny, Grandpa Garth, Uncle Johnny Town, and Jane Hoppenbiller. After an hour, they were at the New York International Airport. After that, they went straight to the grocery store. They bought chickens and ham stuffed with chunky square cut tomatoes. They bought pizza with a golden crust. It was pepperoni pizza, Danny's father's favorite. After they paid the cashier, they went out for a walk around Chinatown and inside the Statue of Liberty of New York Island. It was a great sight to see the whole of New York spread out beyond them like a map. It was the most wondrous thing they have ever seen. The harbor was spread upon them like a big blue blanket. Buildings were broadening all around like an ocean liner. Cars were roaming down the streets. People crowded around ferries as they took a look at the Statue of Liberty and the whole of New York Island. Ferries were running back and forth across the deep great blue harbor. It was a sight for all to see. Next, they bought a baseball cap that had a plastic replica of the Statue of Liberty and a giant pizza to give to Danny's father. On the way home, they reminded themselves about the astonishing sight they had seen the same day. The sun settled like a lemon slowly falling down. The sky turned a pure pink and a citrus orange. All trace of day started to fade away. By the time they reached home, it was nighttime. They were just in time for supper, apple pie with cranberries and strawberries. They saw the apple pie scooped out onto many plates. Then they ate, packaged their gifts, and went to bed. The next day, they mailed their precious father's day gifts via airmail to England and received a gift that afternoon from Danny's father that included a number of candy from numerous candy factories, a large robot, a playground in a box, an army of RC helicopters and RC cars, and an automatic food machine. Afterwards, they had a grand time enjoying the fine gifts that Danny's father had given to Grandpa Garth and all the other relatives too. It was so good, even Danny liked them. There were kids eating candy and chips and cheeseburgers with bacon and french fries and chicken nuggets and hamburgers. And last of all, fried chicken, fish with tartar sauce and chips, pizza of all kinds and hot dogs with toppings of ketchup, mustard and relish made fresh from the automatic food machine. Stay tuned for chapter 10. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to like and subscribe. In the description below, I've included links where you may find and purchase this book.